Welcome, this video will show you the best young defensive midfielders that Football Manager 21 has to offer. And for this video, I will be focusing on players that are 20 years or younger. And remember when it comes to youngsters in Football Manager, there's always a part of RNG in every save. So make sure to scout these players yourself, because their skill level will vary a bit with each save. So first off, we have Osaman Dikite. And uh, this 20-year-old Malayan plays for Red Bull Salzburg. And um, with a little bit of luck, you can get him for a pretty good price. Looking at his uh, skill level right now, he might not seem fantastic at first glance. But if you actually start looking at what skills matter for a deep-lying playmaker in this position, you can tell that more or less all his strengths are in the right skills that actually matters for his role. He has the potential with the, the right development to become really, really good. Next up, we have a 19-year-old Oliver Skip. He belongs to Tottenham, but is currently loaned out. And this 19-year-old is a ball-winning midfielder, and those are kind of sometimes rare in Football Manager, at least in previous versions, which in my eyes makes him maybe a little bit extra valuable. At 19 years old, he already starting to look pretty interesting. Give him two, three, four more years of development, and he has the potential to definitely become an England international and a regular starter for Tottenham. Next, we have 20-year-old Brazilian Gustavo Asuncao playing for Famalicão, and uh, he's starting to look really, really good already. I mean, he has the mentals, he has the right stats on the technical with his 15 technique, 14 tackling, 15 passing, 14 third touch, and some decent physical, even though he has some areas he could strengthen. Wouldn't be surprised if a European club snatched him up pretty early on in the Football Manager 21. Next we have a German youngster, Dennis Litek Frey, 17 years old, belongs to Borussia Dortmund. I just want to say this once again, he is 17 years old. A lot of the other guys you see in this video is 20, which means they have had three years on him. He, he needs three more years to just get to, to their level. So if he looks like this at 17, you, you can just imagine how he will look after three more years of development. And he can play both as a defensive and, and a normal central midfielder. And yes, he has a few low stats, quite a few of them, but he is only 17. And most of the ones where he's stronger at are the right ones for his role. Next we have another 17 year old player and this one looks even better. It's the Belgium Marco Kana belongs to Anderlecht and uh, if you can get him for a good price he could become sensational for you. Uh, he can also play as a central uh, defender. I feel like defensive midfielder is his strongest position. You could also reschool him to a regular central midfielder but I think like as a Deep line playmaker in the, the defensive position is where he will shine. It's going to be very interesting to follow him both in this game in real life. Now it's time for another 20 years old. It's Florentino Luis, Portuguese player belonging to Benfica. And look at those stats 17 tackling, 16 positions, 17 teamwork, 17 natural fitness, 16 concentration, 16 anticipation. And a lot of 15s, a lot of 14s. Oh my gosh, this is a diamond in the rough. Already picked up a few U21 caps and it probably won't be long before he starts picking up normal caps if he keeps on developing. Another player that can play both in the defensive role and in uh, the normal midfield role. But I feel like looking at his strength and his weaknesses, I mean, he's good in both positions. I, I, I would like him in my team and I'm sure you would like him in yours. Next up, we have 18-year-old Italian Nicolo Rovea, and uh, he's contracted to Genoa. And look at this. So many big clubs want him. I mean, that's a clear sign that all the scouts for these clubs have noticed this lad and want to uh, buy him. So you just need to strike first and get him into your team. Very all-around player. And he's just 18. Next, we have Emanuel Lugarte. Belongs to Phoenix. This Uruguayan 19-year-old is uh, another diamond in a rough i mean look at his stats more or less no weaknesses so evenly handled almost every stat between like 12 and uh, and 14 15 and uh, 19 years old just in a season we're going to start to see some 15 16 here and uh, two or three more season yeah he is going to be a beauty 
I'll bet he will be picked up by a bigger team very soon. Next we have Italian youngster Sandro Tonale, belongs to Brescia on loan to uh, AC Milan and AC Milan also have some class sold to buy him off that loan deal I believe even though nothing have been agreed to. And this guy has been a fantastic youngster in a few versions of Football Manager and you can see why. Just look at these stats at 20, he's already at a level where he should be a regular starter in most teams and Two, three more years of development, you're probably going to be a regular starter in more or less any team in the world. So, did I miss one of your favorite young defensive midfielders? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, press that like button, it helps me out. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more FM21 content. Thank you for watching.